Another thing that's also very weird about them is that they hop. Are it's... they rabbits? So, like, where exactly I... does the zombie part come into play here? Because, like... Uh, okay. That's what I was reading a lot in a lot of, like, when people were explaining this monster. They aren't, like, normal vampires. At the same time, they... They have the zombie-like characteristics? I couldn't understand it either. How... Anyway, uh... So do they drink the blood things... and eat flesh? I guess... I don't know. Anyway, one of the things that is used to repel against them to keep you from getting killed by one is you run over, run through a bridge where, of running water. And apparently that keeps them away for some reason. Oh. Yeah. It's weird. I was like... China, you have the weirdest mythology. <laughs> uh, then again, Japan's no, be no better with the mythology. Uh, let's play a random game of something. Oh. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't have the uh, white alicorn around, so... The little rainbow marshmallow. She's very good for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey wolf can you fuck off <laughs> thanks <laughs> why not just like kill it so it's not a problem nice yeah I, I didn't see it until I was oh so what's the next game uh it's just post show okay yeah we'll steal we'll steal said he lost his sanity at dance. Wheel of Seal, shut up. Once keep using healing spells, okay, I'll drop you off the cliff. Heal from that. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do in Skyrim was to lead a fight up to a cliff, then just get behind them and Usro down them off. That's like <laughs> the best part of the game. God damn it. I missed. Usro <laughs> I Wait, also what? like I also like stunning giants when they're in the middle of their get up animation because if you do it at a certain point they just turn into helicopters and God damn a wheel of steel <laughs> <laughs> All I'd wanted to do was go to Dan's That up with the dead joke That is gonna be a dead meme before you Never. know it Down, like, Golden! Let me see if I can find it, actually. I know, right? Oh no, I disturbed a ghost. Whatever shall I do? Come here. <laughs> okay. I've been feeling that ghost. Okay, I fought necromancers who spammed healing spells. You think a ghost it's fucking scares me? I hate the most. Never mind, I'm nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you get for being a cocky bass? Right? I never usually have this problem. That sounds like a. He is a that sounds like an incredible. <laughs> I I was about to say the same thing when I saw that. Kind of feel bad because now I'm figure, the one spamming the healing the spell. Oh, uh, okay. Rainbow Dash fan asked, um, ask all, who is is anyone gonna watch the live action Disney movie Dumbo? No. Yeah. No. Um, I, I, I saw the red on Rotten Tomatoes. It doesn't look like you're going to be missing much. Yeah. I'm 50%. Probably not going to be. Really? Yeah, it's a 50%. Uh, even then, That's like, sad. I've seen some, like, Disney remakes with, like, high percentages, like Jungle Book, and even Beauty and the Beast it was, like, in the 70s, but people hated it. And I wouldn't blame Why? them. Why? Because it's the exact same movie, just in live action. So, yeah. 
I'm not gonna well, go. Well, I to can't the... say the same for the. Go ahead. I was about to say I can't say the same for the Jungle Book because technically it's not fully the same as the animated version because they actually try to go more with the actual uh, book series more than the actual animation. <clears throat> That was, like, one of the big differences with the Junk Book and why it didn't seem as extremely... You know, if they, if, if, if they did it because they wanted to capture more of the Rudyard Coupling novel, I'll give them credit for that. There's another one that, that, that somebody else, that another uh, company did that was actually a lot better, actually. Mowgli? Because that one was more based... Yeah, that one's a lot based up more off of the actual book. Hmm. And honestly, I, the way I was watching the anime, the way it was done, I was like, dang, it's dark, but it's impressive. You know, oh, like, okay, bringing up the subject matter about Rudyard Kumpling, like, I should get out the way that the Mowgli story was one of the many stories of the Jungle Book. There's one other story that actually did get a cartoon short from uh, Chuck Jones, and I personally would love to see this adapted into a movie. I think it would work. Ricky Ticky Tavi. Oh, yeah. Mm. I remember Ricky Ticky Tabby. I saw that animation too, a long time ago. Chuck I Jones, motherfucker. Animation. Yep. That was a good like, animation. Like, the thing I don't get about, you know, like a, a lot of the fucking Disney movies that are getting made into live action. You know what movie would be really good if it was live action? Atlantis. Hmm. Atlantis. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. if they made fucking Atlantis into a live action movie, oh, I'd be down for that. Yeah, shit. you know what? Like, and guess I, no like both me and Atlantis was underrated. Exactly. I agree. Also, I yeah. want to add, Chrissy and I actually had an agreement <gasps> of Jesus Christ. I'm trying to talk. No. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw it. No. no. Um, me and Chris, uh, me and Keyframe were on the same agreement on who would be the great casting role for uh, Milo Thatch. Who do you got? Tom Holland. Oh, oh, fuck, you're right. Oh, Tom Holland would be I mean, really good. Oh, I mean, when you see the way make... he acts in Spider-Man, you ever see that old movie, Empire Strikes Back? It would just be like, Oh, my... This, <laughs> this, this <laughs> turtle is if the key to finding the lost... that same fucking energy, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's like... Hey. I can just imagine. It's the Shepherd's Journal. Th this journal, it's the key to finding the lost content of Atlantis. Like, like look at all this stuff. Like, oh, God. <laughs> It Here's another question. So Here's really another true. question. Who would be the good role for uh, Kidda? Oh, fuck. Oh, good question. I mean, you would have to find an actress who's like in their 20s. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Also, it'd be really awesome to see that scene where the fucking bad guy turns into a weird ass crystal golem. Oh, yeah. Like a... um, right? I forgot that what his death was, was but actually... yeah. Who? That was pretty cool. That that was a, that was a pretty brutal fucking Disney death. Oh yeah. That is like true. there were like we've already had discussions about Disney deaths before. That one was just like Jesus, you turn into a living yeah. crystal. I will even and give then you this you get much. cut up by a fucking helicopter, so you know, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> also, okay. Also, one of the thing I also enjoyed about that animation, um, the movie itself. Is the whole idea of the fact that it's steampunk inspired? Yeah, oh, yeah. beautiful. A God, live action steampunk. movie with like a steampunk aesthetic. Ooh, ooh. oh, ooh. it'd be like it would be like Bioshock. Oh, yeah, it'd be Disney's Steven. answer to Bioshock. <laughs> yes, yes, I'd be up for that. I mean, it, it, awesome. okay, it's kind of hilarious with this kind of parallel because it seemed like Atlantis was kind of their answer to Stargate. And there's, like, a TV series called Stargate Atlantis. That's true. <laughs> I remember that one. I would love to see, um, a, like, a live-action Atlantis. Like, I've said things in the past on how much I can't stand these unnecessary Disney live-action remakes. You or know what I would make like another fucking... D-L-A-R. That's what I'll call it. Dalar. For short. Dalar. You know what would make another fucking really good live-action Disney film? Okay, what? Mm. What? Treasure Planet. Yes. Treasure yes. Planet! Yes! That would make a fucking fantastic live action film. I know. Like, holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. Also, like also, fire. if they can if they can actually do this, the black cauldron. Ooh. That'd Honestly, cool. I feel like I feel like whether or not they do live action versions of them, I just like to see them go back to things like Lant Atlantis and Treasure Planet. Because we'll those were amazing. 
And Those are movies that did not deserve to bomb they, or to be overlooked. They were I agree. not only amazing, but like just visually design wise, they were gorgeous. Like they were definitely shit. eye catching. They were quite the eye catchers. I agree. You mean also, uh, Treasure um, Planet? Both Treasure, Treasure Planet, Planet and, and Atlantis. Atlantis. Okay, yeah, yeah no, I really love gorgeous. the art style of a Treasure Planet. Uh, not Treasure Planet. Uh, Atlantis had had that somewhat comic book sort of look to it. Yeah. I agree. Also, um, one thing about Treasure Planet, if they actually made the live rendition of it, it'll be Firefly 2.0. Because that's basically da, 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 da. I don't know the lyrics. That's what a uh, that's what a uh, Firefly is based on. It's a sci-fi steampunk theme. Also, you know, it's, like, the... it's like steampunk with a bit of western. Yes. And seeing the fucking Ben, the robot that belonged to the Fuck. like in Captain Flint. Yes. Seeing Sorry, him ever... is like seeing him live action Fuck. like a in. A funnier C three PO would be amazing. Oh, was I ever dancing with an android named Lupin? <laughs> I love that part. Ah, that made me laugh. You know the thing that's hilarious about uh, Firefly is that you may not have recognized one of the actors' names, but he was in Full Metal Jacket. Adam Baldwin, not Alec, but oh. Adam Baldwin. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. My sister was a is a was a huge fan of Firefly, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you she would know like, this line from its movie. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch me soar. <laughs> well, what is boy, that supposed to mean? Was... I'm a leaf on the wind. It's a shame <laughs> oh he died. God. He took a spear directly to the face. Right. I know. If you if you did that quote in front of my sister, she freaking love you. <laughs> she, she would. She would. Also, she's also season the Wiccan. I'm not exactly sure if a live action Brother Bear would work. Yeah, I agree. I saw that. Yeah, too. I, mean, I feel like Brother. What does that I... be along the... Go ahead, Ellie. Isn't that? What'd you say, Ellie? Ellie. Yes. Okay, you were saying. <laughs> Wait, is uh... your mic cutting out? Is your mic giving you issues again? I don't think it is. How about that must be uh, annoying, isn't it? <laughs> and also, in a live action Sword in the Stone, I'm not sure about that one. Um, I mean, on the one hand, I, um, I can see why it would be live action because it's based on human characters. But on the contrary, a lot of what they go through, whether it's, you know, birds, fish, and what have you, or the squirrels. Yeah. Oh, God, I can imagine the implications of the squirrel scene. Um, oh, God! <laughs> the implications! Oh, oh, what's, wrong is, oh what's wrong is Peter go is, like, freaking Peter gonna start making fun of fucking um, Steve Irwin again. Logic, be quiet. <laughs> But no, based Again, on those who, who like, animal if we have sequences, a squirrels. The, the, the animal sequences, including the uh, that magic battle, like, a lot of this is, like, that looks like something that wouldn't fit into a live... Okay, I will give you that the uh, the wizard battle at the end. That scene was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That could the adapt well. Um, unfortunately, I can't say much about... Because it, it, it would just look way too fantasy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Having, mm. having focused on the animal portions, which take the majority of the film, would just feel not out of place, but odd. You would have to go through all that just to get to the duel. So I don't even know if it's worth adapting. Mm. Yeah, I have to agree. And what you going to do about it? Want to fight? Want to have a wizard's duel? Wheels of Steel says logic sounds like an I do not enough of this fucking people sound like people thing <laughs> and no i've heard what aeon sounds like i don't sound like aeon at all i'm starting to think that the people that are Fuck. fucking paying attention to your streams brett are just fucking tone deaf like holy shit this is ridiculous right? yeah i know first it was you and me and then it's fucking ellie and kichi and now it's fucking goddamn logic and aeon goddamn and, and then, don't forget yes, Jesse and as well. Jasper. Jesse and yep. Bliss, like fucking and Christ. And EG and Jasper. How the fuck do those two sound alike? I know, right? I know! It's... 
I'm Jinx. sorry, but well, I'm not sorry <laughs> because no. Just think they're looking over their fucking fan fictions of fucking person x person like oh yeah they sound alike that's why yeah like, are you guys telling us something the chat yeah. are you chat. trying to tell us something? fucking ideas in your head there <laughs> <laughs> is there something you're trying to tell us is there something you're trying to tell us oh uh, please please uh do tell enlighten do us. Tell us yes please i wish Fuck. to know i'm no, saying this about <laughs> Season of the Wiccan says, I've been confused for Keemframe and Blissey before. Congratulations. Prepare for your crucifixion. <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh my god. I, I, I remember I, I was talking in the fucking group chat with this one fucking kid and this was in a room that fuck! I fucking got out of not too long ago because I fucking couldn't stand anybody in there. But there was just this fucking kid in there and he had like I, I want to say not a fucking grating voice, but it was the kind of voice that would get like irritating if you heard it for extended periods of time. And all he would you. just do, he would just sit there and fucking just talk about, oh, you know, people tell me that I sound like Golden Fox. I'm like, who the fuck lied to you, kid? Uh, <laughs> somebody, from your impression, somebody was selling you some fucking shit. Jesus Christ. From your impression, wow. he sounds a bit more like Mickey Mouse. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> What, did they leave out the part where you said, oh yeah, Golden was currently having his nit his fucking goddamn nuts being grabbed by a midget? Like, what, what part of that sounds similar? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was this back at Con? No, it wasn't. Oh, it was, okay. in, it was in a fucking saying. group chat from fucking years ago, and yeah, I ended oh. up leaving that place because fucking, I went into another group chat, I'm like, Jesus Christ, these people are cringy as fuck. And then I just oh, left because I'm like, fuck this shit, Jesus Christ. I, I can't deal with this. What? Uh, wait, okay, season how? Do, how do people confuse <sighs> that YouTuber? <sighs> okay, no. uh, apparently people have also confused uh, season with Disney fanfic 2364. You know, the <sighs> one who's behind uh, Bride of Discord. Apparently they confused the two with, together too. Okay, Why? so, um, I've recently been thinking about, okay, so considering that I pretty much reached the goal, if I were to extend mm -hmm. it, how would you guys feel about me adding some more milestones? Uh, I don't yes. think why not. Yeah, like, let's like say, what? like, let's say it's 600, <laughs> I would do, I don't know, Top Gun on the end of the end. Of... Eh, I... Top Gun? Yeah. I think I've heard of that game. game. It's a stupid, it's a stupid flight simulator. I've noticed a I lot. I've heard of it. I've noticed a lot of your milestones seem to put you in a position where you play a game that either makes you uncomfortable, you don't like, or makes you angry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look, that's what the people pay for. That's the idea. It's watching exactly. me suffer idea, through yeah. stupid games. Um, Wing Commander. That would be a long game to play through. Like, mm. I mean, I, I that is a good choice. Um, it does have an arcade simulator game. I know about that. Um. But actually playing the game, it still is going to take a while for me to get used to. Like, I've made progress in the past, but there's one part that always gets me angry. It's when you have yeah. to go the through... Game. No, it's when you have to go through an asteroid field. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Not like the one in Star Fox 64 that was good. <laughs> um... A season asks, what about, how about the console game for The Lion King? That no actually chance. has been an idea of me to play through with some time in the summer. Um, oh, I just can't wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't mind playing Lion King. Um, I would probably want to save that for another time. Because I think I've played, I played enough Disney games. Isn't the Lion King only for the Sega Genesis, or was that? For it was all. It was ported to the SNES. Oh, okay. I didn't remember. I only remembered the Sega Gen Genesis version. <laughs> I love that Wheel of Steel says two thousand dollars could be Ghosts and Goblins. Oh no. no! Why would you do that to Golden? Why? No. Why? Like, I Golden... thought you were. I, th I thought you guys. I thought okay, you guys did Golden, liked Golden. Did Golden hurt you people? 
Why? Right? That game is a death. That game is a madness. Wait, that game is happen. a spawn of the devil. Also, season. Right, of, right? See, oh, hang on, hang on a second. Season, I can't do N64 games. Derek, all of the Ghost and Goblin games, have you rerun them all like twice in a row? Super mm -hmm. Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, I, I can't think of all like any other titles. Hmm. Really? What about uh the two Legend of Zelda Oracle games? The Oracle games? What? Uh, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Oh God, no! Because <laughs> no, like. Okay, I tried playing Oracle of Seasons, and I got stuck with something, and I had to look up a strategy guide. And the things that you have to follow is so, like, how the fuck was I supposed to figure all that out? And trying to, like, <laughs> listen to what the steps are. There's one step that I tried to follow that I would have figured it out, and it doesn't make any sense. I don't know if I should clarify that or not. Like, I'm being very vague uh on it. Edwin, the, he is hoping to play uh, Minish Cap. Yeah. Because that is on his list. As far as big but, um, games go, I'm already playing Pokemon Yellow, and it looks like uh, Mario is Missing is going to be a while. And I that feel way, like what? Minish Cap is just one of those Zelda games that people sometimes forget is a Zelda game. Yeah. You're right. The, I agree. It, it's still a good game. I enjoy it, and I still qualify it as a Zelda game. Even if many people forget about it. Let's see. Um. Oh, the original Legend of Zelda, the first one. Yeah, I've heard that game. You takes might as a well while. play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> if I had the Switch. Breath of the Wild was a lot of fun. Oh yeah. I, I, I need to get that game. Have you I played a Sonic game yet? Yes, you do. Wheel of Steel. I did play Sonic Three once. Unfortunately, um. I didn't get anything out of it, and I deleted uh, the entire playthrough. I mean, I'd be willing to do it again, but I would also want to play, like, the first two Sonic games. Um, what about that one uh, Mickey Mouse game that's, uh, what was it called? Magical Quest, I think it's called? Um, That's an idea. Uh, that's, that's, once again, a Disney game, and... Right. Yeah, that is definitely something that I want to save for another time. Like, I will play it. I'm willing to play that one. Okay. Um, okay. Um. Oh, uh, I think I talked about this before. If I could find an Atari 2600 emulator, and if it works well, mm -hmm. I mean, think about what's the first game that pops in your head when it comes to that console. <laughs> uh, I ask again. Uh, I can't think of any, honestly. <laughs> E.T. Oh. Why do you do oh, this? Oh, God. Why would you torment yourself with that one? Don't torment yourself <laughs> okay, with that one, Okay, unlike with please. the others, I know what this one is. And no. I oh, agree no. with logic. No. That's a bad idea. Bad idea. You're mad. The madness will consume you. <laughs> yeah, even Ed is agreeing with us. Good God, no. <laughs> Mr. Oatmeal Raisin himself is saying this is a bad idea. I love that Magical Star is adding, no, no amount of money is worth it. No amount of money is worth it! I Not agree. incorrect. You know, For I, I, you might as well just like throw in like another LJN game by comparison, because at that point, those are just stupid games that are just stupid games. They don't drive you crazy. They just make stupid games. True. True. Mystical Ninja. I would have to play that game a bit. You could, uh, I could pay you two hundred, and it would not be enough. <laughs> See, Toy Story on SNES. The thing crashed the mo video game economy in the eighties. <laughs> well, he's not wrong about ET. See, how about a twelve hundred dollars to do comics? Don't you think that's a little excessive? I mean, twelve hundred dollars to do a Genesis game that can be beatable if you have the patience. <clears throat> I mean, granted, you have one life. I don't know how many stages there are. 
Um, I wouldn't know either. Yeah, like I would have to look up information and see what I can do to, you know, master that game. Okay, let's see. Um... Yeah, there's a Dennis the Menace game on uh, the SNES. Are you freaking serious? Yeah, there is. I, I remember oh, Game Grumps and they were playing that stupid game. Uh, there was oh, also Goonies on the NES, and I think it was made by Konami. Oh, yeah! I know Game Grumps played that one. What about playing <laughs> they Home were Alone? Um, a, I think they were I poking fun of the uh, translation of the game, too. <laughs> I remember that part. Um, Mother one, Earthbound beginning. Uh, oh, I'll save that for another time. Zombies right. at my neighbors. I vaguely remember my cure days. Let's see, Golden Axe. That's a fun game. Um, Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Yeah, it was a Genesis uh, hack and slash. Hmm. Oh, that would be cool. There's also the first Splatterhouse games. Yeah, I played the second one of Genesis, and it fucking sucked. <laughs> also, Derek the Brony, about Final Fantasy, those games take forever to play through. It is true. Like, I played through, like, okay, funny story. I was uh, playing Final Fantasy VI, loved the hell out of it. I didn't even know how far I was in the game, but I made a lot of progress, and I had a feeling, like, am I close to the game? And then somebody said, dude, you're not even a quarter in. I'm like, what?! <laughs> Which well, one you, what? It was like you might as well you might as well have picked up that game and then it just looks at you with deathly eyes going welcome to the next 20 years of your life <laughs> <laughs> um there's well one, said there's some rpg games that i heard have um that are uh, a little shorter <laughs> like they'll still take a while to play through but they're shorter by comparison i heard breath of fire has in a a decent amount of time to play through um, I don't know about Super Mario RPG, but I, it's still on my to-do list. <laughs> okay, I would like love to play a final. Uh, final Chron Fantasy, have time to waste? This is the game, this is the game series for you! <laughs> <laughs> that would be you like, okay, wrong. if I, okay. That would have to be a long, no, like, if, no you, if you let me finish, short final Fantasy. if I may really speak, if I may, um, but if I'm like, uh, I could think of it this way. As far as streaming Final Fantasy goes, and if I were to do like, ow, Jesus fucking ah, Christ! Ah, Jesus! Jesse. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways. Put my fucking microphone into a washing machine real quick. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, getting to the point. For Final Fantasy games, I would commit to like an all day stream, like. After, like, a little bit of rest, and if it's, like, 12 o'clock, and it would play until, like, 8 in the evening just to make a lot of progress. Holy crap, that's a lot of content to produce for my second channel. Dude, you would, even if you did it that way, you would need a week. You cut out right there. Even if you did it that format where you did it, like, a whole day, you would at least a week if you did it every mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a Final Fantasy veteran. I'm going to tell you right now. There ain't no such thing as a quick play. Th no, mm -hmm. you can't. No, I already know about that. I definitely agree to that. Unless it would just be like an entire year dedicated just playing well, what's like Final the, Fantasy What's the game. fucking like speed running record for Final Fantasy? I'm it's curious. It's something like five or six hours, I think, at when they were using a lot of glitch pack. What did season Jeez. say? Yeah. Hang on, I gotta look. Let's see, how about a contra That's game? Like, <laughs> What did season say? I I had to look up a bit. Oh, I think it's a pitch. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, oh look at that! No. I've been in. Pe ah! Ah! Season? No! Okay, season. No! Season. I have not played any. Uh, like I have not played Final Fantasy VII, but I have seen that scene. You have. You have to be so tasteless to do that. Fuck. No! You are officially <laughs> the worst kind of person. Go drink. Oh no! I just gone to. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, some my head. I mean, if anything, if anything, that should be Cloud because he gets impaled like on the fucking daily, and he's just fine. So. <laughs> um, you're not wrong. 
Like, no, name one not. game that clouds in where he doesn't get fucking shish kebobbed and then just walks it off in the next scene. <laughs> um, Dirge of Cerberus? I don't remember mm. him getting impaled in that one. There's a gratis game released in Fair Europe enough. called Paradius. And that's a, I've heard of that. Um, I haven't paid that much attention into looking into um, uh, PAL regents of other games and such. Like it, it's like it's always too alienated for me to check them out. I heard they're good games. Um, I'm very much accustomed to just like US releases. Although I do think that it was stupid that when uh, Final Fantasy VI was ported to. Um, was ported to America. They named it three because of other shit. And they also mm-hmm. replaced certain lines. Like there was one from Kefka that said, go and get them in Japan. It's actually go kill them. Like really? Yeah. You don't want to use it's the like... term kill in it. Yeah. Well, censorship was fucking bit of back then. It's mm-hmm. not necessarily stellar as it could be now, but it's way better. Mm-hmm. That is definitely true. I, I am aware that there are English patches that you can also put in for PAL regions, but I did see some gameplay of uh, Peridius, and it looks hilarious. <laughs> I might look into that. So. I forgot how how many hours uh, the eighth Final Fantasy was. I forgot. Uh, I don't fucking care about that one. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know my cousin played that one, and I forgot how long it took her to beat that game. Like oh, it. Secret of Mana. Yes. I have yet to try that game out. You haven't tried Secret of Mana? No, because the thing about Secret of Mana Aww. is that it's a multiplayer RPG, and I would want to include somebody to play it with me. I mean, it's Aww. perfectly playable alone. Oh, I know that, but it, sometimes when it comes to games that involve multiplayer, sometimes I just want to, like, have something fresh. That's also why I didn't do, um, what is it called, Tetris Attack? Because ideally, I want a keyframe and I to like do a like a playthrough of that for a while. And for many years, it was never touched on. And of course, you want Blizzard around to witness it. <laughs> what, what logic? I didn't catch that. And you want and Blizzard around to catch. Because it's Tetris. <laughs> because it's a Tetris game. You well, actually, sure. no. It's mo- it's more bejeweled. I'm oh. going to make a necklace that's just all the Tetris rainbow colors and i'm gonna give it to bliss say here from fox <laughs> <laughs> also we uh, also you know, shovel you know knight is an that... idea of a game Ooh, shovel knight i did okay i did test a few uh steam games in the past and even though they do work it does cause some uh call problems it all depends do I play any MMOs? I did play a little bit of one that Mage introduced me two years ago. I don't even remember having an account there anymore. No. Okay. This may not... I don't think you'll ever try this one, Golden, but it's a good suggestion at the least. Okay. Undertale. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, because no, it. because there was a horror story with like Jack Septicai and uh, Markiplier saying you're supposed to play like this, you're supposed to play like that. It's just like oh, God, I mean, it's if, just you wanna, if you want to if you want to play a game that's like Undertale, you could always play Delta Room because there's literally True. no difference in how you play in that yeah. one. Yeah. In, in Delta Room, you can literally just go on a fucking murder spree and you'll get the same ending. So yeah, the ending doesn't change. So that's kind Aura of nice. dragon. Well, I'm expo- be yeah. Fair. That's only supposed to be like part, right? I I feel like the reason that is is because of all the backlash that fucking that people got because they didn't play it a certain way, and Toby doesn't want that to happen again. That's what I feel like. Is I actually the did. He- for it. I did hear from Toby Fox that uh, there were like they weren't supposed to like uh, the way the fans were acting. He wasn't expecting um he wasn't expecting them to act like that. That's... I don't know. I don't know entirely. Are... So there's, it's like you have two types of people in this world: decent people who will treat other humans with respect, and internet dwellers. Uh, oh, yep. there's a game that I actually wanted to try for. Um, wanted to try for the NES at one point. I. Would have to look into it more. Mecha Warrior. It's a pretty cool like platformer that you can like uh, control your gravity and such. You control a mech suit in a platformer, 
and like you can jump like you jump in different areas but you can also like change the gravitation of pull and it's it's a bizarre but crazy looking game i might have heard of that one not sure i am also um derek mentioned about que uh, king's quest one through uh five I don't know what King's Quest is. Can I do Metroid <laughs> Fusion? Okay, Metroid Fusion is part of like a Metroid marathon that I plan to do later this year. I definitely, yeah. I would def. That's okay, I will tell you this much. With Super Metroid, I would do a casual playthrough, and I would also be willing to do the three-hour playthrough, the speed run. <laughs> because if you beat that game under three hours... Um, the rest of uh, Samus's suit is off, and you just see her entire body. And that's when people realized, oh shit, she a girl. <laughs> <laughs> she is woman. She's There's a, woman. a vagina in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the train is called. Uh, there's also the other conflict that I have. Um, I would have to play these games to get better at them. Uh, there's the first Metroid, which has not aged well. Like, I have completed that game once and was able to make progress, but goddamn, the game has not aged well. Not because of some of its, like, some of its mechanics. I mean, you run around and you explore places, but a lot of the areas are so copy and paste, it's so easy to get lost. It has no map function. And the way the game starts out, you have this little pea shooter that barely goes anywhere. A lot of these problems were fixed up in a Zero Mission, which has a map function. And it does uh, have uh, a navigation on where you're supposed to go. But they keep other uh, open areas of the map, like, blank. So that way you have that chance of well, that sense of exploration. Hmm. Um, Edwin also mentioned the original Kid Icarus. Ooh, I could I could look into that. I have not made that much progress in Kid Icarus because I don't know what you're supposed to do. You're just shooting around and you're collecting hearts. Yeah. You can play Kingdom Hearts if you uh, Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because it's wrong. <sighs> oh my god, Ellie. <laughs> I get weird. You're cutting out again. <laughs> Well, that's just fine, because I'm just tired and headache. Understandable. Alright, well, um... So this is, like, already midnight on... Holy crap. Yeah, Holy and shit, I'm an hour 10. later than... Alright, well... That's true. Yeah, I better call this a night, but, uh... Yeah, get shit on, nerd. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I'll think these over and listen to what you guys have to say. Um... Yeah, I, I gotta um, I gotta close this down. It's really fucking late. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. Uh, next week I'll be continuing Pokemon Yellow, and at that point, um, things should hopefully be much more set in stone. And I will make sure to save this time and not lose any progress. <laughs> yes, let's not make that same mistake twice. Yeah. Pokemon. Gotta catch <laughs> oh them God. all.